Hi, welcome to San Francisco. Today on the show, we are going to look at how the different seasons affect plants and animals. Why do I have a big influence on plants and animals? Plants and animals change so much depending on the seasons. In the spring, the weather starts getting a little warmer. The rain gets lighter. Plants start to grow, leaves that fell off during winter start to come back. And if you were a gardener, you would be perfect for the vegetables. In the animal world, it's changing too because all the grasses are growing and there is more food available. That's perfect because, uh, because, uh, because animals have babies in the spring. Summer is when plants really start growing and ripening. In the animal world, animals are growing too. It just takes a few summer months for animals to grow the full size. Trees are full of leaves and fruit are ready to pick. Don't forget, summer is the best season because summer vacation, yay! In the flood, um, animals get ready for the winter. Mm, it is hard to find food in the winter, so many animals try to eat, eat, and eat. The leaves are changing. Orange, yellow, red, brown. All is always time. That's why not the people pick all the fruits and vegetables they plant planted in the spring. In the winter, it's too cold for some animals. Some animals move to warmer climates just for the winter. That's called migration. Some animals sleep during the winter. That's called hibernation. In winter, plants lose their leaves and growth stops for a while. All seasons are important. Join us next time on Science on the Go. Eh.